Great, we have successfully entered the birth data and the software has calculated the chart for us. You are looking at what we call a worksheet. This is the first worksheet of many. You can navigate to the next screen by pressing the down arrow. Or go back by pressing the up arrow key. Later, we will look at other ways to navigate worksheets. This screen is highly interactive and fully customizable in many ways. Notice that this screen has three rows and three columns by default. Also notice that some charts use only one cell in this grid, others use two, and others use four. All of this you can easily customize. So let's make a few changes to the layout. First of all, let's increase the layout to four columns and three rows to give space for more charts. To do this, click on the name of the worksheet in the right upper corner. Then, from the drop-down list box, select 4x3. Now click on OK. Now the worksheet has four columns. Let's add a new chart in this fourth column. Simple double-click in an open space, and select the chart you want. Let's place a notes field here. Click on the Notes option, and click on OK. Now let's add D10 chart. Double click here, and select chart from the table options. Click on D10. Click on OK. As a third example, let's add a transits chart. Double click on the last empty cell, and select chart from the table options. Select animated transits. Click OK. To save this screen, Simply navigate to any other screen. Let's press the down arrow key to go to the second worksheet, and up arrow to go back. The layout is now saved. 